This is a Pulsar P3 on a wrist, on a desk, in a suburb of Melbourne, Australia. The Earth. The spaceship from Warner's 2001 A Space Odyssey. Dave? Okay, we're a little off track. Let's go to the beginning. No, right back to the very beginning in 1966. This is Stanley Kubrick, the movie director. He asked Hamilton to make a futuristic clock for his upcoming movie. Hamilton accepted the commission and produced this. Being watchmakers, Naturally, they wanted to make it smaller and turn it into a wristwatch. John Berge was head of the team charged with the job. They called the watch Pulsar. John got the name from newly discovered pulsars. A pulsar is a rotating neutron star that pulses intervals of light across the galaxy. They are so heavy that a single teaspoon of neutron star would weigh 900 times the weight of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Here is a graph from Manchester University showing a pulsar pulsating. By 1972, Hamilton had a working prototype, the P1, but it suffered teething problems. With a rework, the P2 was launched in 1973 and became a huge success. The P3 with date was launched later that same year. The first electronic digital watch. Heralding the start of the digital age. It was a computer module, had light emitting diodes, magnetic settings, it could measure surrounding light and adjust the intensity of the display. And it was very cool. It was worn by movers and shakers. Roger Moore as James Bond, Keith Richards, Elton John, Sammy Davis Jr, Gerald Ford and Joe Frazier. The light of the pulsar burned bright, but it didn't burn long. Soon the cost of manufacture dropped opening the Pulsar up to competition. LCD watches emerged with longer battery life and constant display. Before long, the glow of Pulsar watches would fade away. But Pulsar still had a pulse. Decades later, the Pulsar would be rediscovered. Websites would write about them eBay would sell them. YouTube would unbox them. Instagram would photograph them. The watch wasn't lost to history after all. Here is a pulsar on a wrist. Waving goodbye. Say goodbye, but not for long.